Hello, I'm Odin, and today I get to talk about the new AnyCubic Photon Mono X 3D SLA printer. I'm very happy with this printer, and that's the short of it. What else do you want to know? There's probably a lot of the details I should tell you about, but you know what? I like this printer, and I'm happy to have this printer. Good enough? Okay, I'll tell you more. So not only is this printer larger than the Photon, and it's considerably larger. So the build plate is actually larger. I'll give you some dimensions in just a minute. It actually prints faster as well, up to three times faster, because it has a matrix of UV LEDs underneath it, as opposed to a few on this machine, which uses diffusion to get all around. Um, the, it actually runs quiet. Right now, if you listen, it's actually on, and that's how much noise it makes. It makes a little more noise when it's printing, but not much. It's a very, very quiet machine. Uh, the Z-axis has dual linear rails, so it's actually very accurate. Uh, I had the tiniest bit of layer shifting with my prints, but I also have railroad tracks a few hundred yards away, and I'm pretty sure that has a lot to do with it. Uh, the machine gave me some very good prints. Most of the prints I had of it were, were excellent. There was one that wasn't so excellent, but that was operator error. Let's get into some machine specifics and details. I said it has a matrix of light. What's in here is a quartz lamp bead with a new matrix design for uniform UV light energy. It provides brighter and more uniform light than the Photon, which is still a good machine. More light means you need more cooling, and the Mono X has it. It's got dual fans for improved cooling, stable printing performance, and a longer service life. You get increased details with your prints because it has an 8.9 inch 4K monochrome LCD screen and the screen life can last for several thousand hours. And a monochrome screen allows for a very short layer exposure time, which gets you faster prints. The time of exposure is as low as one and a half to two seconds, and the maximum print speed is 60 millimeters an hour, making printing speed three times faster than the Photon. And faster print times will allow for larger models, and the Mono X has a large build volume. It's got 192 millimeters by 120 millimeters by 245 millimeters high. And here's the build plate compared to the Photon build plate. You can easily see how much larger it is. Faster print times also means there was a need for an improved Z-axis. The Z-axis is supported by dual linear rails, stepper motor, and clearance nut combination, which dramatically improves stability while in motion and reduces the risk of layer shifting. And the Photon Mono X has a safety feature, cover detection. It can tell if the cover's been removed, so it'll automatically shut off. What you don't want to do is remove this little sticker back here. That's important to make that feature work. What about slicing software? AnyCubic has a slicer software Photon Workshop, which supports up to eight times anti-aliasing, fast slicing, hollowing, split model, and text paste. And something new to me, AnyCubic app remote control. Remote control of print operations, you can monitor your printing progress, you can adjust the print settings, and start, stop, and pause your prints. So I've talked a lot about specifics with the machine. What about printing? Well, to be honest, I don't do a lot of 3D printing. I make things with my hands, and I'm currently rearranging the shop to make a dedicated print space, so I haven't done a lot of printing this summer at all. But what little bit I did, it came through just fine. First print was, of course, the AnyCubic Test Cube. This has got the AnyCubic Photon logo inside. It's the same print cube that came with my regular Photon. It printed up beautifully with a transparent resin, and I specifically used a transparent resin because the first practical use was to make the beam saber effect for the Gundam beam saber build. This doesn't look like much to hold it in my hand, but what we did with this is actually painted them up with a transparent magenta, and you add it to the base of the beam saber and it gives you the really nice starburst glowing effect that you see in the anime. So I'm really happy with how well this worked out. We made sure to print up extras because chances are the bits are gonna break off at a con, but it just slips off and you can put a new one on, no problem. And the other thing I printed up is actually a 3D model supplied by one of my patrons, or patrons on my Patreon, and that's the Arkham Asylum folding Batarang. This particular one I glued shut, it doesn't fold, but it was three different pieces that all fit on the build plate at the same time and were able to print up all at once. And then Joe was nice enough to paint it up for me. 
and I'm excited about other things that I can do once we've got our 3D printing area all secured. We're, we're building it out so we can have it be temperature controlled and dust controlled because it's something I really desperately need here in the shop. Once the dedicated space is built up, I'm sure you'll see more 3D printing on the channel and you'll get to see more of the AnyCubic Photon Mono X in action. But you can also see it in action for yourself because this guy is going to start shipping late October. But you can go to the website now and check out the specifics and how you can order one. So I want to say thank you very much to AnyCubic for sending me one of your machines to review. I'm happy with this machine. I'm very happy with your product and all of the machines that you've sent me. And what else can I say? This is how Odin prints.